So you want to be a millionaire, that you are in the right place. I'm Dr. Brent. I'm a sociologist, financial coach, founder of Gutsy Women Finances Community, and I'm a full-time RVer traveling the U.S. with my three cats. Hey, welcome so much uh, to this video. I want you to be in the live workshop. The live workshop allows us to have an honest and open exchange. If you're not able to be at the workshop, then this is the video for you. It's it's a recording of the presentation only. Hey, I want you to pay attention. Okay. This is about you. This is about you becoming a millionaire. Take out a notepad, take out a pen. You are welcome to pause this video and uh, take your notes. Get, get, get geared up, get geared up. Turn off those distractions, please. No Facebook, no Instagram in the background. Shut the door, turn the TV off, because this is about you. You are going to spend some time thinking about your finances and how you can become a millionaire. So my programs are not for everybody. Here's who I design this video and my programs for, for women who are ready to create a better life, one without all those money worries. My video is for you if you want a deeper understanding of what's holding you back. And this is for you if you're eager to grow your wealth. Now, I really cannot help you if you dwell in the past. And if you're not interested in self-improvement, it's okay to exit now. Come on back when you are. If you don't take responsibility for your actions, uh, this is not a good fit for you. If you shut the door to opportunities and possibilities, it's okay to exit because this is about opening the door to opportunities and possibilities. Okay, I hope that you are still here. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. This is me in front of Bryce Canyon National Park. Uh, I rented a bike, had a great time, went horseback riding, did tons of hiking. And this has become part of my life now. Uh, being a, a, a full-time RVer, traveling, hiking, finding joy, but this is not where I started. Um, biggest part of my story, my money story, is losing everything in my early 30s. I was downsized out of a job. Uh, yeah, I've got my PhD. Couldn't find suitable work. It took me three and a half years to really get a career break. And then I I built a super fantastic career. Um, one of the things when I built that career, one of the things I did is become a little bit of a money nerd. I made a vow that I was never going to live in poverty again. I never wanted to be where I was in my early 30s. It was a, a time of incredible despair. So I, um, as a single mom, I had my only my one income and I would try to treat it as much as I could as two incomes, one to put away and one to spend. So over the years, I had accumulated a fair amount of net worth. Yes, I reached that million dollar mark, which was insane considering where I was at the age of 33, for instance. So we're going to fast forward to my early 50s and I was burned out in my career. One of the things, one of the signs was I took a month off. I'd never taken a full month off for a vacation. I took a month off, had a blast, um, hiking Shenandoah National Park, um, wood carving classes, visiting family in Wisconsin. I had such a good time. It was this glimpse of how my life could look. And when I came back to the office, it just wasn't the same. I could see all the pressure that I was under. Um, I could, I realized that, you know what, this, this is killing me. This, this lifestyle is killing me. And that career ended. And when it did, my first reaction was one of relief. I, I remember carrying my boxes to the car and I felt relief. I felt like the weight was slipping off my shoulders and a big chunk of that was because I knew that I had the financial resources built up, that I didn't have to go jump in after any job. I could decide what I wanted to do. Did I want to continue that career? Did I want to continue working at this high pace, at this high stress, at the, the I mean, high status, high income? But what if I wanted to do something different with my life? 
those financial resources allowed me to pivot my career. Here's what I wanted to do to help other women who were like I was in my early 30s. So I became a financial coach. I built the Financial Freedom Academy and then Gutsy Women Finances because I want to help women build financial freedom. So if their job disappeared, if the shit hit the fan, if something happens, or they just want a different life, they have the money to step into it. They have the money to take some risks. So that is my passion. And in 2020, I realized, you know what? I've been working from the dining room table for 18 months, building this, building my my new coaching, uh, you know, getting getting training in how to be a financial coach, building this course, doing all my stuff. And I realized, you know what? I've I'm kind of depressed. I'm sitting at this table, looking out at the same suburban street. I've built financial freedom so that I can do what I want to do, and I'm not doing what I want to do. I love travel. I love nature. What can I do to feed my soul? So I was sitting on a big asset called a house that no longer served me. My child was gone and independent. And um, I decided to do something totally at the time felt kind of crazy. Buy an RV. I traded in the house, got the RV, never drove an RV before, never lived in one, never spent time in one. So here I am traveling the country since May 2020, love and life, allowing me to get out and hike and find my joy and live in nature while still serving my mission of helping women build financial freedom. So I am always up front with you. So this is a video and I'm going to give you some great information. Ultimately, I want you to become a wealth builder in Gutsy Women Finances. We're talking about million dollar March million dollar march in gutsy women finances and in the wealth builder program i'm going to show you how to calculate and grow your net worth that's coming at the end so all of this information is just a tiny little piece of that larger concept that i call financial freedom financial freedom really is dependent on you what are your dreams what do you want to be doing i mean for me it's been rv you know, driving around the country, travel, but your dreams might be very different. Financial freedom is about building enough assets, enough resources so that you can sort of take that, dip that toe into that other world. You can start building a lifestyle, start building a life that is better suited to you. So what we're going to talk about today, just a tiny little piece of the larger package that I call financial freedom. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because it is time to begin. Are you ready? You got that piece of paper. You got that pen. The distractions are gone. It is you and me and that million bucks. One, I'm not so ready. Five, you bet. I'm geared up. Can't wait to go. Let's go, Dr. Brenda. We, I got this. Okay. I see that five. I see that five. Then let's go ahead and talk about three typical obstacles that I see and three shifts that you can make. Okay. Number one, do I believe I can do it? Do you believe you can make a net worth of a million dollars? Do you believe it? Now I'm going to tell you what, this is, I, I mean, I, I love um, sort of these travel themes and adventure themes because you know, you've got this young woman here climbing up the mountain, climbing up the mountain. And all you're doing is taking one step at a time, right? Everything is about believing in yourself and having the confidence. So I want to tell you a story. I mentioned I lost everything when I was 30. It took me a long time to get back on my feet. That period of time, I was obese, depressed, drank too much. I uh, really didn't know if I wanted to live anymore. It was a horrific time in my life, and I was so poor. I, I owned nothing. I paid cash to live in this cockroach-infested basement. It was very depressing. And if you were to tell me, if, if that were me watching this video, I'd be like, you're so out of touch, Dr. Brenda. That's not my life. I, I could never do it. I could never do it. I understand, because I was there. And I'll tell you one of the things, one of the tricks that worked for me is I began to write 
and I created this alter ego. I gave her a name, Kate Winston. She was this kick-ass detective, private eye. She was out solving solving mysteries in, in the hills of Georgia. She was doing all this stuff, really an assertive, kick-ass person. That was me. That was my alter ego. So I would escape in that writing to try to create this person, this future self that I wanted to be. Because when your current situation is so dire, so dismal that you can't find a way out, you have to create a character, create a future self that is that girl on the top of the mountain saying, I believe, I believe I can do it. So that's that first shift that we have to make is that you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe that where you are today, even if maybe it's not in the best of places, you have the power to make that change. Okay, believe in yourself. Here's the second thing. The myths, myths, money myths that we are often buy into because that's what we're told. Money's not going to make you happy. If you make a lot of money, you're just going to be a greedy jerk. What are you hearing about money? So I can tell you like, uh, let me let me share a story of a friend. My friend is a, is a school teacher. And she's gotten this idea that, you know what, my purpose is to really help children grow and make a better world. It's not about money. You know, money's just going to ruin everything for me. So it's probably not a surprise that she doesn't really do well on the financial front, has kind of repelled money, hasn't taken charge, hasn't mastered it. So what, how do you make a shift? Well, who says that you can't serve humanity and make money? Why do we make it an either-or situation? Think about how money can support your happiness. Money doesn't make you happy. But do you need money to do some of the things that bring you joy? I love to travel. So imagine you're on this helicopter and you are like, here's this castle at night. This is just a glorious scene. And I'm able to afford this. I'm able to feed my joy. Money supports happiness. So you've got to rewrite the myths. Now think about what would happen if you had a billion dollars. So let's say my school teacher friend really wants to serve humanity. And she's got a billion dollars. Imagine all the foundations and organizations and charities that she could contribute that would, con that would go towards helping kids get out of poverty. Maybe, you know, helping the environment, cleaning up the earth. Imagine what that money can do. So we have to rewrite those myths and attract the money. Let's stop repelling it because that's what those old money myths do. Are you ready for that shift? Because I believe you can make it. The third one, this I hear all the time. Well, Dr. Brenda, how do I do it? You know, I didn't learn anything about money growing up. I mean, I saw my parents fight over it. I, I know how to spend it, but I don't, I don't know what to do with it. Welcome to the world because few of us ever learned what to do about our finances. We, we didn't learn much of anything. We didn't learn about investing. Most of us didn't. We don't know what compound interest is, which is like the eighth wonder of the world. And all of these things are things that we can learn. So, you know, if you're going to another country, you want to learn some basic language if, if, if they're not speaking your, your primary language, right? You want to be able to say hello. You want to be able to say goodbye. And you want to be able to find the toilets, right? <laughs> find the bathroom. So you go on, you, you know, you're going to learn this. You're going to get that in your head to learn the basics. So before you jump on that airplane, you got some idea of how to greet people and how to ask the important questions and how to find the best stuff and avoid the worst stuff, right? You do your research. Same thing here. It is about learning. It's about learning how to grow your income. It's about learning how to cut your expenses, learning how to get out of debt, learning how to save, learning how to invest, learning how to be comfortable with your money. That is the secret. And you're just taking one step at a time. So that's what we do in Gutsy Women Finances. That's what we do in the Wealth Builder Program. I teach you. So hello there. 
Hello there. I'm talking to you because we talked about those three shifts. You know, if you don't believe in yourself, we're going to have to work on that, right? Build that millionaire mindset. Got to believe in yourself. Rewrite those money myths so that you know that money supports you. You want to, money supports good. Money supports happiness. You want to attract money. Stop repelling money. Third piece, learn. You know, lack of knowledge is a temporary roadblock. You can fill that up so easily with knowledge you can learn. So hi, yes, I am talking to you because I am inviting you into this new world. Before we continue, this is a great time to get out that pad of paper. How are you doing so far? Hope you're with me. I want to ask you one question. What's your roadblock? What is getting in the way of you building financial freedom? What stops you from becoming a millionaire? Is it that you don't believe that you deserve it or that you don't believe in yourself? You don't believe you can do it? Is it because you bought into some of those negative money myths and you're just uncomfortable with money? The whole idea of being a millionaire feels a little icky. Is it because you don't know how, because you just never learned? Okay. Those shifts you can make. Is it something entirely different? What is your elephant standing in front of the road? What's your elephant? Love for you to pause. Think about your number one obstacle. Write it down. When you're ready, come on back. Come on back. We're going to shift gears a little bit. Take a deep breath. We're going to pause and... Imagine the day that you have reached financial freedom. You are in charge of your money, my friend. You can get up in the morning, decide how to spend your day. You have your priorities set. You don't have to worry about money. You don't feel any stress at all. Sun is shining headed to those waterfalls, just like the water goes down over those rocks. That's your worries. That's your stress. You can just live in the moment. You can feel the sunshine warming you. You have everything in front of you. You've got everything you need to be successful. You've got everything you need to go after your dreams. Money, my friend, is not an obstacle. You have reached financial freedom. The day is yours. The life is yours. Take a deep breath and tell me how you felt. How'd you feel being in that place, even if it was for 30 seconds? Did you feel a little bit lighter, like some of that stress actually did roll off your shoulders? Because that's where I want you to be. All right. I told you I was going to invite you into Gutsy Women Finances, our Wealth Builder program. And this is what we're doing in March. I hope you're ready because when you join our Wealth Builder program, I have an excursion every single month. March is Million Dollar March. The secret to a million dollars is building a net worth of a million dollars. It doesn't mean you got to have an income of a million bucks. It means that you have assets of this much, expenses here, and when you take one and subtract the other, you've got a million dollars. It is a simple calculation. I'm going to help you calculate your net worth. I'm going to tell you, bring some numbers with you. I'm going to make some estimates. Calculate your net worth. If you've already calculated, let's take a look at it. This is about you and your numbers and your journey to financial freedom, your journey to your first million dollars. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to walk through your numbers into a one-page simple spreadsheet. We're going to play with those numbers. Are you ready to play with those numbers? What, happened to, what happens when you pay off your debt? What happens when, whoa, that's gone? What happens if, wow, I made an investment. It's growing. What happens when your expenses go down? How soon can you reach a million dollars? Now, when we start out, you might be in the negative. A lot of people are. If you've got big student loans out, mortgages out, credit card debt, you're often starting at the negative. We're going to take a look at that as your starting point. We're going to help you grow that net worth. 
Are you ready for me? Because we're going to work together in the Wealth Builder program. So we have a live event. I want you to be there. This is our excursion. And then you're going to go into our, our small group, our work group. I'm going to give you some prompts, uh, keep you going. You can ask any question you want there. And then we're going to come back towards the end of March, the latter half of March, and we're going to share. What was this exercise? What did you learn? What are your questions? How can we tweak this for you? How can we help you reach your first million dollars in net worth. Are you ready for that? Because that's what's in the Wealth Builder program. That is what I am inviting you into. I'd love nothing more than to help you build your first million bucks. Now, one more quote. Before you can become a millionaire, you must learn to think like one. You must learn how to motivate yourself to counter fear with courage. So stepping into that whole idea of yourself as a millionaire might feel really foreign to you. It might be kind of scary. You're not sure how to do it. We're going to counter that fear with courage. I know that you can do it. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. Don't let other people get in the way. Don't let those money myths get in the way. You have the ability to learn how to become a millionaire just like anybody else does. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. Okay. I want to thank you so much for allowing me to give you this video today. I thank you so much for joining me in that little vision, what it felt like to be financially free. And this is your invitation to join me in the Wealth Builder Program, March, Million Dollar March. We're going to work on making you a million bucks, growing your net worth to a million bucks. Come on in and join us. You got any questions? There's my email. Take care. Thank you very much for being here.